Hi everyone, and welcome back to Animal Wise. Sometimes a cat's ears appear to be warmer than usual. You may be petting their head and feel this heat on the back of your hand, but it doesn't mean there is something wrong. We explain the possible reasons why your cat's ears are warm, so you can know what to do if there is a cause for concern. The first reason your cat might have warm ears is a completely benign one. Cats like to search out warm places such as a shaft of sunlight or taking a position next to the radiator. This likely contributes to their warm ears. If warm ears and a cat are symptoms of an underlying problem, we need to look at their other symptoms to know the cause. Cats are generally reserved and tend to hide when they feel sick, so understanding general feline body language and that of your individual cat is very helpful. Here are the main causes for your cat's ears to feel hot. As we stated above, your cat may simply have been laying out next to a heat source such as the sun or a radiator. The heat is passed on by convection from other objects, although not from the sun, but even a cat's paws can warm their ears. If they sleep in a ball and wrap their paws over their ears, their own body heat can increase the temperature. If this is the case, you will see that the ears will soon cool once away from the heat source. One of the most common explanations of why a cat has hot ears is that they are suffering a fever. This may be true up to a point as the cat's immune system will elevate their temperature and their ears may be used to regulate it. However, a fever diagnosis will only be realised when an accurate temperature reading is taken. When a cat's body part is warmer than normal, it could mean an infection has been contracted. If you notice that the cat's ears are hot and red, and they are behaving strangely, you will need to take them to the vet. If a cat's ears are hot and red, however, it may also be the result of an allergic reaction. The allergens can be various, such as food, flea bites, textiles, etc. A vet will need to carry out various tests to ascertain the particular allergens affecting a cat. Some specific ear disease, such as otitis, may be the case of the change in temperature of your cat's ears. As we have already said, we cannot know if the cat has a fever only by touching the ears. We need to pay attention to the other symptoms in other parts of the body, such as the paw pads, through which the cat sweats. It won't be certain, but if a cat has a dry nose which is warm to the touch, this also implies fever. The only way to confirm if a fever is present is to use a thermometer at home or at the vet. Remember that the normal body temperature of a cat doesn't usually exceed 39 degrees Celsius. If the reading is higher than 39.8 degrees Celsius, or 103.6 degrees Fahrenheit, then we can say a fever is present. In general, if the cat has no other symptoms besides hot ears and after a while the situation returns to normal, there is nothing to worry about. As we have seen above, a cat's normal body temperature is higher than our own, so their ears may only seem hotter in comparison. A cat's ears are also full of blood vessels, so they can heat up quickly even when the cat is otherwise fine. If, on the other hand, the cat also exhibits redness, has a dry nose or displays other physical or behavioural symptoms, we may need to be concerned. These symptoms may include sleeping too much, apathy, aggression, lack of reaction to stimuli, or generally behaving out of character. This means something is likely to be wrong. To resolve any doubts and to understand if the cat is unwell, we advise you to take them to the vet. It should also be noted that Siamese cats and albino cats are more sensitive to ear problems and may be more susceptible to changes of this type. In these cases, we need to make similar considerations. If you have an outdoor cat and they go outside, they may simply have ears which feel cool due to the weather. Staying in sunlight might make their ears feel warm, just as sitting in a draft may cool them down. However, an internal cause of a cat having cold ears may have more concerning origins. If a cat's ears are cool to the touch, especially when they should otherwise be warm, it is possibly due to poor blood circulation. This means not enough blood is getting to their extremities which may result in cold ears. If this is the case, it could be a sign of a problem with their cardiovascular system. Another problem might be due to poisoning, resulting in coldness in their ears. If this is the case, you will need to look at other symptoms, most of which will be fairly obvious. We also have articles if you want to know other symptoms of poisoning in cats. If this is the case, taking them to be checked will be a veterinary emergency. Have you noticed your cat's ears are too warm or too cold? If so, let us know what might have been the cause in the comments below. Also, you can subscribe to our channel for more videos on the well-being of your cat. See you next time.